Welcome to Lutopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. Today we're doing a deck on the cheap, and we needed to get our tent up out of the mud. We had basically had a lot of flooding problems on one side of our property, so we needed an affordable deck to put it up on. The problem is when I went and priced for the size we wanted of a 12 by 35 foot, it was almost four to five thousand dollars of what it was absolutely way out of our budget so we decided to go the pallet deck route and that saved us probably four grand we've got about depending on if you have to buy your pallets or not uh, or you have to buy your blocks it can be anywhere from a hundred bucks to five hundred bucks it just depends on how much stuff you need now I actually uh, we have a hard time finding free pallets down here so it's kind of easier just to buy like 200 bucks of pallets and then you get all the same kind of boards and all the same size and it's uniform and it's a lot easier to build with so I bought these ones but I'll show you what we did so Mickey is burning the wood we're doing this to every single pallet look how pretty it comes out it really brings the colors out so you can get an idea what the pallet deck looks like and uh, it's pretty what you think. What takes all the time is leveling these blocks. It just takes forever, and I probably should have bought more block, but it's expensive, and we're trying to do this on the cheap, so we're using gravel. Although gravel ain't that cheap anymore. But the way you put these together, if you're going to go the direction we went with our pallets, you, you use scabs, and you just kind of cut them and screw them together. I'm using the pallet woods, the scrap pallet. And then on the side, you do them too. So this project took a little over two days with uh, four of us going. So it was a long, long days. And the first thing you have to do is gravel. We put gravel down and we leveled bricks all the way across. And we did a lot of them. You can see there's many, many blocks. So this is where like $100 a block. The, uh, that's kind of our biggest expense besides the $200 of pallets. You put in about maybe 50 bucks of screws and nails. That sort of thing. So here's the deal. You, depending on how you lay these out, we had to have the planks going this direction. So this actually took more pallets to do it this way and a lot more connections. And what we do is between the pallets, we do scabs. So we take a board and screw them to each one. And we have many, many scabs all the way down. And through, as we put them together, we, we put scabs in. Although the center ones, we just couldn't do it. But if you put them all around the edges, it seems to lock everything in place and uh, it hasn't been a problem. So this is it. We did burn it so it would last a lot longer. You know, we live basically in a swamp. And oh, so let's explain what's going on here. It takes an enormous amount of time to actually bust the pallets up. On YouTube, everybody makes it look so easy. We even have the tools to do it like a pallet buster. It still takes a long time. And these boards are so thin they break really easy so we have a few key areas where people like come into the tent where we deck the whole floor but what we actually found faster was to just cut strips of we took uh, some pallets apart we cut strips and burned the strips in and that was actually a lot faster than ripping them all apart and renailing them together so this is like strategically placed for us because we're putting a tent in here so we left some gaps like under the bed I don't really care if there's gaps but where we walk it's all decked everywhere so you get a better idea so again depending where you are and how permanent you want it uh, this is a great way to go it's a really cheap option you don't you, depending pretty much everywhere free floating decks you don't have to get zoning or codes for you know there's there's nothing actually cemented into the ground and this is the kind of thing that it might sag in one area you just get a jack and put a shim in and you're good to go you know uh, it's it's a good solution I would say we could probably get five years out of this if we took care of it maybe ten uh, it, it really depends but I think for the price it's just a really good solution and for it's a lot of extra work than building a regular deck in some ways and then some ways it's a lot easier so I, I recommend it. I think uh, if you got the time to go collect pallets and you can get free blocks somewhere and some free gravel or dirt, I mean, this project's practically free. But 
Again, I think sometimes it's worth it just to get the all the same style of pallets to just buy it, spend two or three hundred dollars. You know, two or three hundred dollars wouldn't even buy you like a frame of a deck. So it's it's just way cheaper. And plus, the, what the cool part about this is, I only have to unscrew just a few key sections where the scabs are, and we can move this entire deck around our property if we're like, oh, you know, I want to move to the back side of the property more in the woods or. I really wish I'd put this deck somewhere else. This is a really easy solution to fix that. So hopefully that answered your questions. Uh, thank you so much for checking it out. I'll put a couple clips in of us breaking apart the pallets and burning it down. So you can get an idea what that looks like. And uh, also again, look for us on Brighteon and Odyssey because YouTube has censored my channel so it just doesn't show much. And you can uh, find out what we really think and all the stuff we're not allowed to say on YouTube. So you can come on over there. Take care of you guys. We love you. Hang in there.